Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video we are doing a starter build and this starter build has actually been requested by you guys for a little while now. A lot of you guys were wanting a cats and dogs starter home for the new expansion pack without using any other packs or add-ons to the game. So this house is a starter build, it's 20,000 simoleons so your sim can move straight in and it only uses cats and dogs in base game. So yeah, I, I am proud that this house came under 20,000 simoleons and it actually is decorated pretty nicely. It doesn't feel like it's missing anything and it has two bedrooms as well. There's a bit of landscaping and there's also enough money left over if you guys wanted to upgrade the second bedroom, which we furnish as a toddler room. For this build, uh, you can change that to a kid's bed or a double bed, and I think that will still be within budget. So it's a two bedroom home. It's small, but it's good for starters. And of course, there is lots of room to renovate. The lot is 20 by 30. And yeah, I mean, this house could fit on any lot, I think, because uh, it's so tiny. <laughs> so yeah, it should be easy to put in your games. Uh, my username is Delicracy on the gallery, or you can search the hashtag Delicracy to find it. And yeah, I love it. I love it. Now, at first I was going to put like a big TV on the wall and I was like, girl, we cannot afford this. So I decided to put a little old TV on the shelf there on the wall and it does... Uh, work. It works perfectly fine. When I was taking the screenshots, the sim was sitting there watching the TV. So I thought that was pretty cute. And of course, because this is a cats and dogs build, I have included a pet bowl and also a pet bed. Um, I've gone with cats for this one, but you could easily change those to doggy, a, to a doggy styled bowl and bed. And then also you might be realizing that I've taken a little bit of inspiration from a build challenge I did the other day. I did the backwards build challenge, which I think I made up. I don't know. It's not rocket science to think of this challenge, but I feel like I haven't seen it before. And basically what I did was I built a house backwards. I started off with the landscaping and then did the furnishing, then put in the windows and doors and then built the walls. So... Yeah, it was kind of fun. I actually really enjoyed that challenge. I'll link it here on the screen or something. But after doing that challenge, I was like, hmm, I'm going to really focus on the layout of this house and think about where all the furniture is going and how much budget we have. And I think doing it this way meant that we were able to save a lot of money and therefore fit a lot of nice furniture into the house whilst still coming in on budget. So yeah. It's cute, it's cute, and uh, I also wanted this house to not be the regular go-to box shape, I suppose, for starter homes. Like, I feel like all the time when you're making a starter home, it's like, all right, let's, let's build a square and then make rooms inside the squares. I didn't want to do that, and I also knew I really wanted to use those new window couches that came with cats and dogs, so right now we are putting the roof above that couch area where there's that nice hexagonal wall, and you'll see from the roofing, this is an irregular shaped house, and I think it makes it really nice and unique because of that, and the roofing's really, I suppose, dynamic, so I was kind of proud of the fact that this wasn't just your usual box home starter. So I definitely encourage you guys to maybe think about where your furniture is going and then build the walls around it. I think it's actually quite a good idea because you're going to get some more interesting looking homes. At least I think so anyway. So this is the outer shell of the home. Uh, I hope you guys like it. And it's kind of, you can't really fully describe the aesthetic of this build. I think it would be, I suppose... I don't know. I actually have no idea. <laughs> I think it's like part contemporary, part traditional. I don't know. It feels like it's a little house that's sat there for a long time and maybe it's been freshly painted and maybe it's had a room added onto it. And then the inside has a few contemporary items. So you know what? It doesn't even have an aesthetic. It's just like a cozy little home for two. And I kind of imagine maybe a couple and their newborn baby or toddler living there. 
I think that would be a really nice way to start your game or just have a single sim you're starting your game with and you could make the toddler room into a skill building room perhaps like an art studio or an office. Uh, so I hope you guys are able to use this in your games and also do let me know in the comments down below what other builds you would like to see because like this one I love reading what you guys want to see and if there's any challenges uh, you're interested in do let me know in the comments. So yeah that's pretty much coming together and now it's time for the windows. I was really worried because the lot value is at 14,073 simoleons right now. I was very worried that we were not going to come in under budget because windows and doors can be quite expensive. So I just really tried to keep to the cheaper ones. And oh my gosh, that door, the handle is a different height on both sides. How weird is that? I thought that was pretty funny for whichever artist did that. <laughs> They did not put the handle of the door at the same height on both sides. I thought that was quite funny. Uh, and then, yeah, now we're just doing the wallpaper. I recommend if you want to give your house a little bit more realism to try and use different wallpapers, uh, especially if it's like an older house, because I feel like walls are painted and repainted all the time uh, over the years. So, I mean, you got to keep a house fresh. So, yeah. And also I wanted this to look like a house you could improve over time. So it's definitely has parts of it that isn't perfect aesthetically. Like the, I don't know, like the brown fridge looks a bit old. It looks like the fridge could eventually be updated because I want you guys to move your families into this house and aim to be able to make some loans over time and like real life be able to afford an upgrade on certain items. So that's kind of the look I was going for. And then now we're just making a pathway, putting in some terrain paints, which is so funny. I'm doing this build semi backwards again. Like I usually always put the trees in before doing the terrain paint. It's like my mind was still in that backwards build mode. <laughs> and then there's this cute little front garden, which I really like. Uh, and then I thought we'd put some nice uh, flora around the front there and then this little backyard area we're going to make a path back to there to save some money on putting a door in but I thought it'd be nice just to have one simple little garden patch so we've got a little patch there maybe your sims were going to become gardeners and make heaps and heaps of money that way um, if you guys are needing ideas for gameplay why don't you move your sim in here with a cat and make them become gardening extraordinaires because that's one of the best ways to make money in the game. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, just putting some curtains in. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to afford, 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 <laughs> afford curtains because the budget is getting very close to that $20,000 cutoff. Uh, but we managed to get them all in. And I love the orange shelf, actually. I think the orange shelf is so cute. And the mismatched chairs. You know, I love me some mismatch. If you guys have been watching me since The Sims 3 days, it was always a thing, deligracy, mismatching. It was kind of like what I started YouTube and was known for uh, when we had Creator Style, which I miss so much. I miss Creator Style. <sighs> oh, well. All right, and now in the kitchen, I was like, oh, well, we've still got a little bit of money left. We may as well put some plants in, some things on the wall. We needed to include those pet items. I wanted to include a pet door, but I don't think we were able to afford it in the end. So I figured that was something that we could work, work up to uh, if you move your Sims in. And also the size up keys, uh, that's the open and close brackets. They're really handy for when you're on a budget in The Sims 4 because you can make tiny little objects that are really cheap, um, take up more room and decorate the house more. So that's kind of a good thing to remember. And I thought it was so cute to put a slide out the front just to make that home look a little bit more family friendly and inviting and warm. I love seeing kids toys out the front of homes. I think it's like so cute. And yeah, there's our little dog bowl and the bin. I remembered the bin, the fridge, the stove, and the sink. So for you guys who know, know me well, which a lot of you guys do, I always forget something in the kitchen. Not this time, boys and girls. And I don't think I used anything from any other packs. Let me know if I did, because I always do, but I feel like this might be the first time that I don't. So <laughs> I'm going to be super proud if that's the case. 
Uh, so I challenge you guys to find any item that is not from base game or cats and dogs. Oh my gosh, is the toddler cubes not base game? Oh, maybe that's what I got wrong. Oh no, I don't know though. And yeah, now we're just using the last bit of money to put in some decor objects. You know, those little things that just make the house look a little bit more realistic. And I was really trying to see where the dollars could go by deleting a few things and trying out new things. Uh, and I also just realized I forgot to move the letterbox up to the front of the house. So the letterbox is on the corner of the lot, I think. So just as a heads up, you guys, you might need to move that. And here is our final starter home in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs with obviously the base game and that should be it, unless I made mistakes. <laughs> and here's some catty kitties in the house, enjoying it, walking around, uh, and some screenshots so you guys can see if this is something you'd like to use. Comment down below if you're gonna download it. I love seeing if you guys use it and do tweet me or Snapchat me if or tag me on Instagram if you guys use this house and what sims you have living in it. I love, love, love to see what you guys do. And yeah, uh, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. It's 36 degrees Celsius today in Australia, so I'm a little bit hot and bothered. I think I need a refreshment now. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I hope you are having a Merry Christmas or some nice holidays and as always i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you're in the world i can't wait to speak to you guys soon oh and don't forget to smack that notification bell because i know a lot of my videos are not being notified so just to so catch up on everything smack that bell <laughs>